I'm Ini Lush, and I'm here at Hub Culture Transition Forum in Monaco. Really pleased now to be here with Frederick Genta. Thanks very much for coming along. Thanks a lot. So, digital officer for Monaco, and you've got a lot on your plate as you're transforming Monaco into a more digital country. Give me the high level th of what you're doing at the moment. Yeah, Monaco is going through a full digital transition. Uh, so I'm the member of government in charge of transforming the country and the city. Monaco is complex because at the same time a country, a city, and some would say a village. Mm. And we have to transition our economy, our health system, our education system, our city, our mobility, our government, mm. with our own infrastructure. Today we have three types of priority. The first one is the infrastructure. We're going to be by the end of the summer the first country to be fully 5G. That's incredible. The first country to be fully 5G. Yeah. We're very proud of that because we know that uh, 5G is going to generate new usages uh, in terms of autonomous vehicle, in terms of uh, competitiveness for our companies, in terms of usage for our people. Mm -hmm. It's going to make Monaco even more special and even more attractive. The second thing is that we put a lot of emphasis on a public policy, mm -hmm. especially education. By end of October, we're going to be the first country where coding is taught to every single student hmm. from 3 to 18, at least one hour per week. 3 to 18, at least one hour per, yeah. per week. And more if you want it, or how do you get more? more? There's, going to be, uh, there's going to be some edit classes where mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be additional hours. But we want every single student who goes through the mm. curriculum system in Monaco to be able to evaluate in our world have the codes, mm. to have the mindset, to have the learnings, to make mm. sure that he or her take the best out of the out of the current world. Mm. So we are really putting a lot of emphasis you know, on our public policies, on our government policies, on our mobility. We launched this week an autonomous vehicle who's going to uh, serve all the rock from the Prince Palace to the government. Okay. It's How is that going to work? It's going to work with uh, technology that analyzes in uh, real term uh, multiples and billions of uh, insights. Mm -hmm. And it's going to drive through the, the rock uh, on a continuous. Uh, Very cool. How many people will it take? 12 to 18. Okay. This is the first test because we're going to grow autonomous vehicle by end of 2020. Mm -hmm. We want to have like the, a lot of current line which will be autonomous, so we want to be very ambitious of mm. people. Uh, last but not least, we want to uh, grow our economy with digital. Mm -hmm. Monaco historically never had a stock exchange, so our companies never had the opportunity to grow with raising money in Monaco. This is despite Monaco being, finance being one of the principal drivers of income yeah, in, in Monaco. Yeah, corporate banking. We didn't have yeah. a corporate banking. Mm -hmm. So now with ICOs, we're going to be able to by mid 2020, mm -hmm. our first uh, platform and exchange, our real uh, virtual uh, stock exchange, where ten, at least 10 ICOs stamped and approved by the government will happen. Mm. That could generate 200 to 300 jobs, mm. high value jobs per year in Monaco, which is to our size quite a lot. That's fantastic. And what do you expect that to do to the economy? Well, we expect it to be uh, to help our economy mutate faster because the more you can attract a new company, the more mm. you can uh, bring funds to a growing company, mm. the more the, the new and the most uh, advanced and value-added sector will come to Monaco. Mm. And uh, we also expect to build, build some champions here. Mm -hmm. Access to more and more capital, access to more and more money. Mm. We really think that we can build champions here especially in terms of real estate tech and clean tech, mm -hmm. where we're really going to put more faces and mm -hmm. really want us to be faster. Mm. So we really can become uh, uh, what we call a funding nation, and a funding nation for the progress. That's really our plan. Very cool. I mean, I, what I love is when I come to Monaco is I see uh, it's the sort of, it's the most glamorous part of the world. And, and one of the things that I was thinking was, wouldn't it be great if when I see all these fancy cars, if they were all electric? or if they were all powered by some form of, of clean energy. So I wonder if there's a way, way to do that. Yeah, or even to get further, what could it be if they could all be shared yeah. with people? So we are really, um, Monaco is really big on uh, electric car. The government mm. is investing money to, uh, 
to, to subsidize uh, electric car, but more and more we're gonna uh, we want to build an application and we want to increase the number of shared cars, electric shared cars. We want it to be compatible with Nice and the rest of the region mm. to make sure that people can uh, use the shared cars. We really want to go big on electric shareable cars mm. uh, in the coming years. Great. Frederick Genta, thank you so much for stopping by Hub Culture a lot. here at so Transition much. Forum in Monaco. And I'm Edie Lush. Yeah.